Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We were making our way through the Black Omen, slowly but surely. We got another Vigil Hat, and we get an Elixir. Let's see who can make use of that Vigil Hat. Well, I already picked up a whole bunch of other ones anyway, so I probably don't really need it that much. Safe spot, that's not a good sign. That probably means we got a boss coming up. A big one. He's got a big one, you know that. What will you do? Uh, I'll shop. Got a lot of great stuff. Oh, okay, I guess, sort of. I suppose we could grab a few full ethers while we're here, but be, well, be wary as you will run your money down really quickly. Perhaps more quickly than you expect to if you don't really carefully do the math. Now if you talk to this other new... Oh, Haste Helm, I love that thing. I freaking love that thing. I'm actually going to give that to... Well, Chrono's had that safe helm for God knows how long. Maybe I should give that to Luca. Haste Helm. It's really good defense, and a very small price to pay in the drop of defense, but we'll give Luca the safe helm. Because I want Luca to be safe. Three of you, and in a place like this, you got a long journey ahead of you, so please rest a while. Three of you, huh? You gotta spell it out. Roger! Roger, it's them again! Alright. Uh, we're gonna stay. If you say wake up, he'll send you all the way back to the beginning. And believe it or not, I fell for that the first time I played this. I was like, oh my god. <sighs> Aha! Now here's an interesting enemy known as the Tubster. Um, very annoying, actually, with his physical attacks, and he has a counterattack on top of that. But here's the thing you can actually charm <coughs> power tabs from him. And not only that, but this enemy actually returns. Well, look at that. She's out of magic. It doesn't look like he's really doing anything right now. I think his only attack is his counter-attack. So you could just, like, you know, sit here all day and do nothing. But why would you want to do that? Charm him, go ahead and get the power tab. And then, um, well, yeah, <laughs> see what I mean? That's a pretty big counter-attack he's got there. So if you got a triple tech, it's probably a good idea to use that. Whatever you can get, just do as much damage in each singular. Oh my god! Okay, uh, somebody remind me never to do that again. Yeah, see, I told you I wanted Luca to be safe. Let me see if I can fix that. Wait, no. I just won't attack with Luca, because if he counterattacks, he's just going to counterattack whoever did the attacking, right? So here, give her a full tonic. Oh, never mind, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but sure enough, this enemy will reappear if you exit and re-enter, or is there something like that? I don't think it's actually, like, like walking out of the room, but there's some way that you make him reappear. I forget what it is. Maybe it is walking out of the room. But I'm not going to test that right now because I'd have to just fight him again and then I'd have to edit it out and that's all just a big pain in the ass. Hey! Uh oh. So uh, these guys like to do a sort of boogie style tech on you to inflict chaos, but... But if you're lucky, they won't get to you, or if you have a Vigil hat, that also helps. See, that's why I didn't want to take off those Vigil hats. I was a little worried about that. Especially since that, I think, can actually affect multiple characters, which is not too good. But alas. And what's with the design of these enemies, anyway? I think Luca should be, like, suing them or something. Because that's her design. She had the one down at the Millennial Fair, right? Of course, then again, if we're doing this in a thousand AD, who's to say? You know, who stole whose design there? Of course, you could even go into a whole big theory about how... Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Good lord, does that stuff ever go away? Holy cow. Wow, that ate up her MP pretty quickly there. Man, Chrono, do you just like being chaos that much or something? Yeah, and then you're missing left and right. Oh, great. Yeah, that does target everyone. No wonder this is taking so long. Good lord. Well, yeah, do it again, and I'm gonna heal Chrono, and then I'm gonna do a Falcon hit, because I need to get out of this battle. I'm already sick of this. Man, feels like I've been sitting here for two minutes on this. Uh, I like it's your turn. I like it's your turn. Thank you. Here we go. Basically, there's a you know an, an attack that cuts your HP in half. It's not a big deal. It never scared me with those. 
Because I figure you can always heal it at the end of the battle, so what's the big deal if they do it, you know? They're never going to kill you with that. At least not before you get a chance to heal yourself, because eventually you're going to kill them. It doesn't matter how long you sit here, eventually you're going to win. I'm gonna get you, gonna win! So, I had that song in my head this morning. Because I was talking to someone about Eve 6, and they're a band, and they had this album that came out. Oh! Okay, these are the guys that eat each other again, but one thing to note is that you can actually charm Mega Elixirs from them, so if you can get a few of those before they eat each other, that's always worth it. There's just, you can't, po I can't possibly say enough about how useful charm is here. Really. Okay, let's try to get that one. Oh, that's the other thing, though. If they're separated by your characters, they might go ahead and start attacking you. I don't think... Hopefully they don't, but if they do, well... Yeah. If they, if they bite you, then they're pretty much going to take off whatever their current HP is subtracted from 1500. So... But anyway, let's go get the treasure! Zodiac cape again, huh? I'm going to give that... Well, I, I don't have anybody using the prism dress? You've got to be kidding me. Alrighty. We got these these guys again. Ah, at last, Luca has learned Flare. Can you believe it? Okay, these guys. I didn't believe it when I read it on the walkthrough, but I'm going to see if you can. Okay, apparently it's true. The Flyclops, you can actually charm a gold stud from them. How about that? Who would have thunk it? Okay, moving right along. What have we got here? I just never know what's coming in the next room, I tell you. There's like one really big room coming up that I that I know of. We're not quite there yet. Let me try to avoid these if I can. Well, there is no avoiding them. Two of them in a tubster. It's a charm jamboree, baby. Alrighty, well, I had to pass on charming those gold studs, because, um, whatever. Alrighty then, easy to miss this one over here. Be sure you pick that up. Let's see what kind of tabs we got now. We've got three power tabs, only one speed tab. I'm gonna give that to Luca, and I'm gonna give the power tabs to... Well, Chrono's practically, uh... Well, she is maxed out, so yeah, yeah. Well, there's no point in giving it to him, okay, well... Yeah, so, wow. Jeez, who would've thought? You're maxed out already. Damn. B... Well, of course, with the prism specs, it's kind of all irrelevant anyway, but... See another speed tab there. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Luca too. She and Marla were both at nine on the speed earlier. I remember that. I really needed to keep her in my party in the last episode. She could have learned flare sooner. I know people were probably screaming at the screen. I know I was. I was screaming at, screaming at myself like, "Dude, put Luca back in your party. She doesn't know flare yet, and you only got what is it like five more bosses left in the game to fight." So, of course, we do have the new game plus and all, but how much are you gonna be releasing it then? Oh, great. Am I going to have time for this? These are some interesting enemies. Alien, you can charm um, some kind of tab from it. I'm thinking it's a uh, magic tab, actually, but I'm not sure. But more importantly, you can actually charm something absolutely amazing from the other guys. Uh, check this out. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I got confused. I thought they were something else. Um, <laughs> when I find the monster that actually drops the item I think I'm talking about there, I'll... Whatever it was, I forgot, but... There's Lucas Flare for you. A hell of a way to debut that attack, right? <laughs> 3114 experience, wow. I never charmed the other alien, shit. Oh, I was so eager to show off Flare. I didn't think it was actually going to kill him. Uh, yeah, that's my excuse. I didn't think it was actually going to kill him. Yep, that's my excuse. Uh-oh. Recording question. God, do you know how many times I hear that a day? People ask me, how do I record? I should just make a video explaining it, because... I don't know, it's just, I think I should almost, like, type up a paragraph that explains how I do it, and put it in a document on my computer so I can just cut and paste it and throw it out to everyone who asks. But, anyway, um... Whatever. Okay, so I will see you next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, uh, because I'm out of time, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Jeez, was that a shitty ending or what? Oh my god.